Dr. Phyllis Collins of DietHobby.com and today I'm here to bring you a dieting tip and trick. Okay? It involves pie. Now this is not diet pie, this is real regular pie that my husband eats because he's thin and doesn't watch his weight and he can eat whatever he chooses to eat and so he has pie. Well I don't actually eat this pie. Um, hardly ever because I have my own treats I like just as good or better they make me feel better and I want to give you a little lesson on portion control but um, on about these pies now this is a cherry pie okay. it's a cherry pie it's just a simple little uh, supermarket cherry pie full calorie full fat all right and the label says uh, five servings well, whoever cuts a pie in fifths, I don't know, but I'm just cutting, usually I cut it in sixths. My husband would prefer I cut it in fourths, but I usually cut a pie in sixths, okay? But it says one fifth is 410 calories. Well, I got this at Save Mart, and I happened to, I ran these numbers, and I happened to know that one piece of pie like this is... 350 calories. This particular pie, according to the label, which of course I hope is accurate, as good as I can get, anyway, that's um, 350 calories. All right? Now, what I do with leftover pie, because if I have it in the refrigerator or I have it around, I'm going to eat it. Or if my husband will get tired of it or it'll go rotten, I have all kinds of excuses why I should eat it. So what I do is the same thing that I do with everything else. The first thing I do is I cut the pie in the amount of pieces that I'm going to serve it in, which is one sixth. Then after I've cut it in the one sixth and my husband has eaten a piece or two of it, then what I do is I take sandwich bags and I freeze it. And see how easy it is to do this after I've frozen. This is frozen pie now. I froze it just as it was after I sliced it. I'm taking it out. I'm going to put it in individual baggies and I'll put it in the freezer, and what will happen is when my husband wants a piece of pie, he will have a piece of pie. I'll get it out for him. Uh, this is a fruit pie, so I'll stick it in the microwave, and uh, I will uh, heat it, maybe put a little ice cream on it for him, and I won't touch it, I won't want it, because I will have my own treats. Now this is cherry pie. I really didn't have to write that on it, because I know that, and I'm sticking it these, these cherry pie pieces into this baggie, okay? And it doesn't really matter how they go, just as long as I get all, uh, but see how easy it is, it's not all goopy and soupy because it's frozen, okay? And then all I have to do is stick this in the freezer when he wants a piece of pie, take it out. It's not gonna tempt me, it's gone. Okay, now here at the same time, my husband wanted a piece of chocolate pie. Okay, I'll show you the chocolate pie. Okay, this is chocolate pie. Okay, now according to my uh, calorie count online, a generic piece of chocolate pie, now I cut this into one six and he's had two pieces, and once he had, had his pieces, then I... Um, I put it in the freezer to freeze like this and now it's frozen and it's ready to bag up. Now I'm going to bag it up first because I don't want it to get soft because it's a cream pie and it has whipped cream topping. I don't want it to get all goopy and soft okay while we're talking. So I want it to stay frozen all right and see it's not going to be as easy. Matter of fact I've had it out a little bit too long already. Now I have paper towels you notice to get uh, when I have this pie on my hands because I do not want to get a lot of extra calories. Now this pie has been sitting out while I was waiting to shoot for about a half an hour, which I shouldn't do. Usually right from the freezer it goes in. And so um, the um, whipped cream is not goopy like this. But it's still, it's still frozen, it's still hard, it still works. I can pick it up with my hands and I can put it in a baggie and if it was, and you know I couldn't do that if it wasn't frozen. If it was just soft and refrigerated and thawed out, that wouldn't happen. Okay, so uh, I should have uh, left in the freezer to the very last minute, but I did not do it. But you can get the idea of how it works. Okay, now this works with a cream pie, it works with a fruit pie, and when you take it out of the freezer, 
What you do, see, I'm gonna wash my hands. When you take it out of the freezer, what you do is um, um, thaw it out room temperature for maybe an hour, just like you would an original pie when you bought it the first time. Okay, so I'm just bagging these up. I can't put as many in a bag on because this is um, this is a cream pie and it's partly thawed out a little bit. So there we go. It's just a cup. I, chocolate pie. Now when he wants a piece, I have it here. A lot of times you see in the freezer, you buy in the free freezer section, you buy pies and cheesecakes and things that are already sliced up in their individual sizes. But then what happens is as you eat it away, it, the whole piece of pie takes up a lot of room in your freezer. Maybe you only got one or two pieces and you got a great old big box. This way, as it reduces, you have more time in, in, more in your freezer. Now I wanted to tell you about this particular pie. A generic chocolate pie, one-sixth of a piece, uh, according to my uh, National Registry uh, uh, data from my computer, says it's 300, uh, typically about 350 calories. But this happens to be a claim jumper chocolate silk pie, okay? So instead of just going by generic, all 350 calories for one-sixth, I'm going to look here, and what it says is one-eighth is 410 calories. Well, I didn't cut it in one eighth, I cut it in one sixth. Okay, so what do I do? Well, what I did was I input it into my diet power, the whole pie, and then I divided it into six to see how much six is. So what I know is that one sixth piece, a piece of pie that you just saw had, that's 546 calories. Okay, the whole pie, by the way, is 3,280 calories. And if you've ever eaten a whole chocolate pie, um, and I have eaten whole chocolate pies, and certainly half is easy to do, you know, and the whole one isn't very hard. But anyway, um, that's why you get fat, okay? So you've got to pay attention to the labels. If there's no labels, pay attention to the generic uh, calorie counts that you can find online because you might think, oh, a piece of pie, how bad is that? 350 calories. No, you didn't have 350 calories, you had 500, almost 550 calories. So you had a couple hundred calories more than you thought, and um, that adds up over time because we tend to eat more calories uh, than we think we do. We, almost none of us, ever eat less calories than we think we do. Okay, come and see me at dietHobby.com.